All right, Ryan, can you tell us some of the top features uh, of this new coating? Is it tintable? What are your recommendations for colorants? Yeah, so it is tintable, and it's also, like we talked about earlier, interior, exterior, durable, sticks to multiple substrates extremely well. Um, again, steel, fiberglass, wood, has great build. Um, as far as our colorant recommendations, we recommend a product called Colorful Zero, which is manufactured in Canada, which is a renewable resourced uh, UTC, zero VOC UTC, universal name. tint yep. colorant. Um, we've done a lot of testing with national brand tints. Obviously, we can't name some for proprietary reasons, which we have not seen any effects. We've also done, we'll say, industrial tints, uh, the standard 896 line, which is very common in the industry. Um, and we see very good results with that. We always just recommend that you test the color to make sure you're satisfied with the performance. Getting into that a little bit more on the color, and so, you know, we recommend, like I said, the Colorful Zero, Zero VOC, bio-based. We've been using that colorant for... Uh, about nine years in, in production and in custom tinting, and it's been a very, very good product for us. With the different substrates, uh, that was one of the things that surprised me about this product was how many different substrates you could hit with it. Yes. And the interior and exterior capabilities. Did you want to talk a little bit more about that? Sure. The, the polyurethane polymer is actually designed, it comes out of the automotive market. It's really designed to be an automotive type clear coat. Uh, so we took that chemistry platform and obviously we designed it for wood. So again, we're going to have great adhesion to steel. Again, always pre-primed. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously wood, you know, and fiberglass. So. We didn't set out to do it that way initially, but knowing the characteristics of it, it was a wonderful uh, attribute to, to be able to launch to the market, solely because we want to be able to you know, be also in the pre-prime steel market. What recommended priming systems you recommend at this time? That's a great question. For for steel, most steel doors come in pre-primed with a yep. factory primer. Yep. So we, we always look at that and just make sure there's no nicks or anything in it because if you, there are, there can be some flash rusting. Yeah. So we would recommend then just a aerosol uh, steel prime uh, paint spray. And I know we got to give this a little scuff before we do anything. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, but for wood, we would recommend, you know, if you're going to do an exterior project with it, with for wood, we would recommend our white undercoat, which again has some as an exterior capable primer at that point. Um, and then if you're going to do interior, you'd have an option of white undercoat or our stain blocking primer. And the stain blocking primer is really designed to be able to go over existing finishes where possible dyes, tannins, pigments like that. Okay. And we've seen a great history of that product blocking dyes compared to all brands on the market. We, we feel we're very successful with that. What type of results can a professional expect uh, from using this product? On wood, the results I would expect is phenomenal chemical resistance and a great build of a product, especially over, you know, if you, once you prime, um, it has a very, very good build, fast build. And really, I think in our opinion, in our testing, ultimate chemical performance and hardness and still have uh, elasticity.